Welcome to Mike Norichlow Online, sharing my love for people, wine, food, and all things made passionately. All right, today's episode, we are carrying on exploring the wines of Italy, starting at the very bottom of this old world country and working our way up. So today we are still focused on the island of Sicily and obviously today doing a white wine from Sicily. Now, as I've mentioned in the past, Italy literally has thousands of random grape varieties that I've never heard of and that you've never heard of. One reason I'm super stoked to be exploring this old world country and tasting through so many random varieties to see what they have to offer. Um, staying away from our Merlots and our Pinot Grigios and the random varieties, or the random, the standard varieties. We may touch on a few because Italy produces some exceptional wine from those varieties, but stoked to be tasting the weird ones. Call it that. Tasting the weird varieties, the weird names. Ones that there's a lot that I'll probably not even be able to pronounce. Stoked to go through them. Today's wine or variety is no exception. Today we're tasting Fiano. Now, Fiano, from what I understand, is a very ancient grape variety. A grape variety that was grown and turned into wine in ancient Roman times, back in the day when Italy kind of started making wine. Uh, it is primarily grown in the southern parts of Italy, so appropriate for today's, today's episode, primarily in Sicily, and also, actually it's fairly famous in the area of Campania. Now, we're not focusing on Campania today because it's further up the boot, but Campania is located, you see my foot there, right on the upper arch of the boot. Excited to actually hit that region too. Anyway, Sicily, Fiano. Got the wine today from a producer called Inicon. Now, Inicon, from my understanding, was founded by Diego Planeta. We tasted a Planeta a couple episodes ago. Um, red wine from them. Planeta is probably one of the largest producers on the island of Sicily, and this is more or less, call it a side project of theirs. Um, but what they've done, and I find this kind of neat, is Inicon is kind of a cooperative winery. Um, Inicon is also the ancient Greek name, which is funny, but the ancient Greek name for the town where the, or the village where the winery is located called Menfi. Um, but Inicon is a producer, making wine from growers all over the island of Sicily and supporting um, independent estate family growers who all kind of share the same lifestyle philosophy, the same sort of farming philosophy and practices. Um, so all of their efforts going into these bottles. From what I understand, there are literally about 2,300 different growers supporting Inicon. Um, it's a lot of grapes coming in to produce wine, so I'm assuming they're growing some growing or producing vast quantities of wine. Anyway, stoked to taste this one. This is the 2009 vintage Fiano from Inicon. If you look at the bottle there. I think I paid 18 bucks for this. If you're watching this and you are in Victoria, I picked this up at the Cook Street Liquor Store. Cook Street Liquor Store, fantastic people to work with. They will definitely help you out. Now, first thing I noticed about this wine, super deep in color. Very deep in color, almost like a killer oak Chardonnay or something, or almost like a dessert wine in color. Kind of like that, neat extraction. Wonder what the skins look like on this grape. Probably very, very golden grape variety. Interesting. Okay, what are we smelling? Boy, this wine is all over the place. I smell honey, I smell beeswax. Hmm, definitely. I smell something bitter and floral, almost like dandelion. Some melon in there. I want to say a bit of banana or banana peel. Very, very, very interesting nose. Definitely, definitely not your typical white wine nose. Not your typical white wine color either. Okay. For the, this is the first thing I'm going to say. For the Chardonnay drinkers out there who want to try something a bit different that's got some similarities, this is like an, got the body. This has got the body of an oak Chardonnay without the oak flavor. How's that for you? It is heavy. This is a big white wine. This is a bold white wine. This has walked in the room and said, hey guys, I'm here. It is a bold white wine. Mm -mm. It holds nothing back. 
On the palate, wow, yeah, it's big. This would be fantastic with some seafood, big, big white pasta dishes. Um, doesn't hold anything back. Like I said, tons of beeswax, tons of honey. It's got a really interesting savoriness to it. I like that almost briny, kind of like a sea salt aroma or flavor. Yeah, and you get a little bit of that bitterness in it, um, bitter floral aspect. I'm curious what the alcohol content is in here. 13.5%, Italy's a warm country. There's a fair amount of alcohol in here, but you know what? The gumption this wine has supports the alcohol. This is a bold, a very, very bold white wine. Um, I like it. I really like it. I find it extremely interesting. For those, for that merit, that's why I like it for interest's sake. Um, and this is a wine that I would really enjoy as well. Extremely interesting. Tons of things going on. 18 bucks, random grape variety. May not be everybody's cup of tea because of kind of that bitter savoriness. Definitely got kind of an old world flair going on, but I like it. So I call this a good wine. I think it's a good wine and extremely interesting. There is another grape variety from Italy. Stoked to carry on with you guys. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope, I hope that I'm continuing to depretentiousize the wine world. We'll see all of you on the next episode.